Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I've gone hardcore today. Purples and pinks is not something that I would tend to wear. I don't usually wear bright eyes. Don't know why, it's just... I just don't feel like the suit me. I have quite hooded eyes as well, so if you guys are struggling, you see all these people doing the makeups and they've got this beautiful set of eyeshadows, but the recreate on me, it doesn't work, you can't see it, this is the one for you. So stay tuned, like and subscribe, I'm going to link all my social medias as well. Please, please, please show some love to your girl, tell everybody about it, I'll keep making more videos, and yeah, let's get into it. Well, first things first, we're going to prime the lids again, same as always, the P. Louise Base in River 2. Please ignore my skin at the minute, I broke out in like this horrible rash yesterday. I think it's from painting my room. Um, I think the fumes just did not agree with my face. The first colour that I'm going to start with, um, I'm going to go with Grape Escape, which is the dark purple down here, and I'm just taking it on a fluffy brush. And we're just going to start on the outer corner. I'm just going to tap that into place. Don't worry too much at the minute about blending. It is going to look a bit crazy as well until we've finished. I'm also going to mix it with a bit of Drama Queen. So I'm just flickering between those two colours at the minute. I'm just packing it onto the corner. It's going to look a bit ooh, crazy. So we're literally just putting it to like a third of the eye and just leaving it. Don't even bother blending it at the minute. I'm then just going to take another fluffy brush and I'm going to dip in with Modern Way, which is more of the lavender kind of purple down here. I'm going to tap that into the middle section of the eye. I'm just going to flicker between those two brushes. So you're going to have quite a two-tone purple at the minute. And it's going to look super crazy. So as you can see, I've just gone slightly above the natural crease in my eyes, so that otherwise when I do that, it just covers it. If you don't have hooded eyes, obviously just stay in between the lid area. If you do have hooded eyes, then you do need to take it that little bit higher. Like I said, otherwise you're not going to see it on. I'm then going to take Tutu, which is this beautiful bubblegum pink colour here. And I'm just taking it on a fluffy brush. And we're going to pop that into the corner of the eye. Again, we're just doing patting motions. Don't need to blend just yet because we are going to The one thing I love about this palette, it is so pigmented. Okay, so you're going to have <laughs> this at the minute. Bear with me, trust me. And now I'm going to start blending. So I'm going to take it on a on this fluffy matte brush and I'm going to go in with the Modern Way, which was the lighter purple that we put in the middle. And with that, I'm just going to start blending out very lightly. Just letting the bristles of the brush do all the work. I'm just going to get rid of all them harsh creases and purple is the hardest colour to blend out so why have I done it on the end of my eyes I'm going to take it a little bit higher again just from having hooded eyes super light motion and barely holding the brush Purple is just one of those colours that just takes a while to work with. You just gotta bear with it. Just keep buffing that one out. And then with whatever left on the brush, and I'm just gonna bring it into the pink slightly. So you're not gonna use any more product on this, you are just gonna use what's ever left on the brush and just blend it into the pink at the top. So now we're just going to start blending the pink to the middle purple. So you're going to take Tutu again on a fluffy brush. This is actually the Anastasia Beverly Hills out of the Modern Renaissance palette. Try and get rid of any harsh lines. And then I'm going to flicker with Modern Way on the original brush. Just 
You're going to keep the pigment while still buffing out. Do you ever find with neon colours they just take so much more effort to blend? Absolute ball like sometimes. Flick. I find that the flicking motions work better rather than buffing. So you just flick between the two where you want the colour. You sure everything is fully blended. I'm just gonna take a clean brush now and just go over everything. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is do the lower lash line. We're just gonna mimic exactly what we've done on the lid. So we're gonna do Drama Queen, Modern Way, and then the tutu in the corner. And we're just gonna follow exactly what we've done. And then I'm gonna take Modern Way, which is the middle color. And then I'm finally going to take Tutu. I'm then just going to go in with the black eyeliner and line the waterline. Then just going to go in with the Peaches and Cream Pearl and just pop that. It's just a plain glitter that I'm going to pop onto the pink of the eye. Oh, it's so pigmented. It's just going to give it that bit of Summit, summit, make it stand out. This is perfect for every single colour of eyeshadow because it just matches and blends in to your colours beautifully. And then to finish, I'm just going to go in with the Sweet Tooth, which is more of the baby pink, and I'm just going to pop that right into the corner of the eye. And the very start of the eye. And that's it. Done. I'm then going to go in with white lines and pop that on the top of the brow. This, I'm just going to finish the top of the brow with that slim glitter that we put onto the pink. I'm going to pop some lashes on. And that's the finished look. So I have got lashes on now. I've got my magnetic lashes on. I've got a little bit of lip gloss on and yeah it was really fun today i've enjoyed doing something a bit it's not something that i would personally usually do i'm not really a bright colored eye person so it's been nice to have a play around i like that i think that was really cute i'm, I'm really happy with that